So here I am on my Azure portal. My subscription is a free trial account and you can see my default directory is just avd at outlook.com. So if you go to subscription, you can see my I'm the owner of the subscription. And this is my default directory, which is just avd outlook 563.on Microsoft. Right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virtual network. Let me create that first. And I'm going to create a resource group here. I will name it as VNet RG. You can literally name anything here. And for the name of the virtual network, I will put it AVD vnet and i will choose east us that's my location and i'll just click review and create so it's running the validation at the moment yep and i'll go to create it Okay, the deployment in progress right now. It will take a minute. Okay, so deployment got succeeded. So I'll go to my resource and I'll go to subnets. And I can see there's a default subnet already created and the name, uh, the IP address is 10.0.0.0 slash 34. I will leave it as it is. That's my default submit. And now I'm going to, let me just create a virtual machine in this subnet. Let me create a new resource group. I'll name it as VMRG and I will name it as AVD VM. And I'll choose the same region. Let me select no infrastructure redundancy at the moment. And here I'm going to select, let me do Windows Server 2019. And let me select the minimum size at the moment. Let me do D2 is three. Yep, and I will put a username. Let me put his user. Confirm the password. Okay. I'll go to next. And let me go to networking. And that's already selected the default subnet we have at the moment. So that's fine. And the same virtual network, VMRG, which we have created. Um, sorry, AVD VNet we need to select and then that's a default subnet, right? So we are creating everything in same uh, virtual network. So let me go next, next, go tag. I'll just click review and create. Okay, so the validation is passed. Let me click create and just wait for the creation of virtual machine and then we will log on to virtual machine. Okay, so my 
virtual machine is ready so let me go to the resource yep you can see it's running and the size is it's got two vcpus eight gig of memory now i'm going to connect to this virtual machine let me do the rdp okay so i've connected to my virtual machine here so it will let me just guess So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to deploy a domain controller on this virtual machine first. So for that, I just go to add role and features. Okay, still running in the background. So just wait for a minute. Yep, it's ready. So let me go next. It's fine. All right, so I will select Active Directory Domain Services. Click Add Features. Let me go next. Next. And I'll select this. It's fine. Let me install this. Okay, so it will take a moment to install this feature. So I'll pause my video and when this installation is ready, I'll come back to it. Okay, so my domain controller feature has been added. So now we have got the message here to promote this server to a domain controller. So let me click on that. Let me add a new forest. I've already saved my default directory name. So let me copy that. Okay, let's go next. Need to provide a password here. Okay, so I've entered the password and then let me go next. So it will take some time to install this um, domain controller. Um, when it's done, I will come back to it. Okay, so the domain controller has been deployed in this virtual machine. If you go into the Windows administrative tool, let me open the Active Directory. Yep. So you can see my domain controller here. So that's my default directory as well and then we can now create the users and groups. So before we do that, um, let me install AD Connect. So I've already saved my installer for AD, AD Connect from Microsoft website. Okay, so before I go ahead and install AD Connect, I will show you in my Azure Active Directory environment, I've got a user called test1 who is I'll show you the assigned role he's a global administrator so test1 is my global administrator so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy his username okay so before we install the Azure AD connect let me open my active directory you can get it from Windows administrative tool. I need to create a user who will be my domain admin. So let me name it as AVD admin. 
Okay. Let me add a VD admin. So this will be my domain admin. So let me add a role here. Domain admin. And let me add enterprise admin as well. Okay. Right. Click OK. Now let's install AD Connect. Express settings. So here we require the global administrator username and password, which we have already created in Azure AD. So let me put the password for that. It's going to verify. So here I'm going to add my AVD admin. Uh, so I need to put my so you can see this is domain name and avd admin we put the password and go next yep it's going all right let me go next and install all right so it's going to install the ad connect and after installing AD Connect, we will create some users and groups in our Active Directory. And that should sync everything to my Azure AD. So we will test that out. So the step two is done, and then we will go to step three. Okay, so my Azure AD Connect has been installed. So now in the Active Directory, let me create few users. Let me create five or six users here um, and I will name it as user one, user two, user three. So let me create that and I will come back to you and show you. Okay, so I've created six users here. I've uh, named them user one, user two, user three, till user six. And also I've created a group called AVD users and I've added all my users in that group. Okay, so my first two step is done and these users and groups will be going to sync to my Azure Active Directory shortly because we have already installed the AD Connect. And then we will go to our step three. So. Okay, so let's uh, go back to our steps. So the first step and second step has been done. So we have already deployed our domain controller and installed AD Connect. So all my users should have been synced to Azure Active Directory, which we are going to see and test. And then we will go to our third step where we are going to create few groups um, in our Azure Active Directory. So later we can use those groups when we create the host pool. So let's go into the Azure portal so here we are in our Azure portal. Let's go to Active Directory. We'll go to the users. And you can see all the users which you have created in Active Directory in Virtual Machine has been synced here in Azure Active Directory. Let's verify in the groups as well. We have created one group there which is called AVD users. It's synced as well. And all my 
users are part of that AVD group, AVD users group as well. Now let's go back to the group here in Azure Active Directory and let me create few groups here. Let me name it as pool user. So we are creating it so we later we can use this group in the host pool when we create the host pool where we can assign these groups there so users can access our active um, sorry virtual desktop so let me add few users let me add three users here in this pool user group let me create it and let's create one more group i will name it as remote app group and let me add some more users let me add four five six as well just randomly selecting so okay all right so you can see all the the two groups we have created pool user and remote app now we will go to our steps and see what else we need to do all right so the third step is all good we have created those groups now we are going into the fourth step which where we are going to create a storage account in azure portal and under the storage account we are going to create a file share so let's do that